Hello guys, this is Adam and this is the M5 MacBook Pro with the Apple M5 GPU with 10 cores and here I do have the Apple M1 Max with 60GB of RAM, 8TB of storage. As you can see the M1 Max is set on Apple M1 Max GPU 32 cores with cycle supported GPU compute. So we're gonna go ahead and then this is a Blender 4.5 and we're gonna render the image and we will see how much that would take and here we're gonna do the same for the M5. As you can see, it's M5 10 core GPU cycle supported GPU compute, and we're gonna go ahead and then render that as well, and we will see the times. Now, of course, the first run we will never count it because it's a kernel run. So from the second run and onward, that would be the thing that we will be focusing on for the most part. So here we are at 17 seconds point to 26. We are done. This is connected to the power, by the way, and this is connected to the power as well. Both of them are connected. So this is done, and it took 53 seconds again. This is the kernel run. So what we're gonna go ahead is a close and then render again And then we're gonna go ahead and close and render again with and I will be surprised to see if the m5 Is better than the m1 max here. We got done with 17 seconds point zero one and here we got done with 25 seconds So basically the m5 is better than the fully specced out m1 max MacBook Pro with 32 core GPU and this has only 10 core GPU. This is done and it took 16 seconds, 0.78. And the M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 inch is done and it took it 24 seconds. So thus far, the M5 is actually faster than the M1 Max. This is unbelievable, honestly. What I want to do, just because I am right now feeling an ego hit, is that I want to turn everything into high power, and then we're going to go ahead and make sure that our preference is in place. So I'm going to go ahead and render for the third time. By the way, this does not have high power mode. This is connected to power. This is connected to power. I am sure both are connected to power. And please, I'm on max. Please. Do better so i wouldn't feel so bad that this machine costs a fraction of your price yet it's still doing better if anything that shows that generational leap is really big no holy cow this um okay i feel really bad right now so this is 24 seconds and this is 16 seconds so basically the m5 in terms of cycles is better well i'm not gonna run that test anymore i think that is more than enough for me to have that as a proof so now the second project is the Fox Splash. So I do have here the M5 10 core GPU. So I'm just going to go ahead and render. Again, the first render is the kernel render. So that wouldn't count. And then I'm going to go to edit on the M1 Max and then go to system. Make sure that my M1 Max GPU is selected. And then here I'm going to go. It's EV. And I believe here it's EV as well. Yep, it's EV as well. So on the M5, what we got is 11 seconds. So for the M1 Max, with the 32 core GPU, I got 13 seconds, 0.58. So the M5 is still better by two seconds in comparison to the M1 Max. I'm gonna render it one more time, and this time I'm gonna actually enable the Apple M1 Max as well, the CPU, and I'm gonna run it twice. And I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna go to edit and then enable the Apple M5 as well, and then I'm gonna hit render. I'm just curious to see what type of results I will be getting between those two. Here we got 13 seconds, the same as before here. It might take 13 seconds, it might not. Well, actually it took 11 seconds as well. So it's the same time, it did not make any difference with that. No. So the M1 Max MacBook Pro took 30 seconds and then we are still waiting on the M5. The M5 took 29 seconds. So actually the M5 is faster than the M1 Max, even when you enable both the GPU and the CPU. I will say this is in the margin of error that they are both the same since here we have 29 and here we have 30. But overall, throughout this test, the M5 is actually better than the M1 Max. So if you are trying to decide between the M1 Max and then the M5, because the M1 Max right now might be cheap, I would say go with the M5 because the M5 is much faster than M1 Max currently. And that is the test for a Blender. Thank you so much, and I will see you later.